Hey, Jesse Brizendine here. Today I want to talk to you about a subject that's very near and dear to my heart. Today I want to talk to you about, oh wait, hold on one second. Hello? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, you know, I'm just filming a video. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, they're fine. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. <clears throat> As I was saying, I want to talk to you today about something that's really important. Hang on. Hello? Yeah, no, no. I know. Well, I know I told you that doing these videos and helping people is my biggest passion, but yeah, no, I think it's really important that we talk about... I, yeah, no, it is. I think it's really important we talk about right now what we're going to have for dinner in three weeks. Oh, you're kidding me. They had the nerve to tell you that your, your jeans had a spot on them? Assholes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll talk more about it in a minute. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. I got distracted. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. We live in a world where we are so distracted by these little things. And you've heard me talk about the phone before, but how many of you have been in a position before where you're sitting down with a loved one, you're having a conversation with a friend, there, you know it's one of the most important people in your life, and then, then this thing comes out, and the moment's over. You're getting ready to share something really heartfelt with somebody, but this thing comes out. You're getting ready to open up and share with your day, about your day with your partner, but you see this little thing buzz or beep. Who's been there before? It doesn't feel very good, does it? And then what do you do? Because you're li because it's gotten to the point where we're so uncomfortable without these things that if one person picks it up, we might have the tendency to check ours, even if we know there's nothing going on here. Right? How many times have we gone walking through a, a public place or somewhere and we hear a phone go buzz or beep? We know it's not ours, but we find ourselves reaching. We find ourselves checking. We find ourselves scrolling just because it almost feels more comfortable to do that when everybody else is than to just be us with ourselves. We are in a distracted world. These things are hardwired to get us distracted because the more we're tuned into them, the more we're tuned out over here, out of the people who matter most, out of our life. And it means the more reliant we come on them, which guess what that means? Ching, 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 ching. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of really cool tools you can do with this. And I'm extremely grateful for the ease that many of the, the apps and the, the things that this does. It allows me to communicate with people around the world. It allows me to easily get from point A to point B with a flip of Google Maps. It allows me to take pictures I can share with you all, or sometimes I do short videos. There's so many wonderful things I can use with that device. And there's a time and place for it, isn't there? That time and place, I would argue, is not at the dinner table, is not when you're trying to connect with your loved ones, is not when you're going into an important meeting about something you're passionate about, or when you're really getting ready to record a video that you want to share a message with people from all over the world. In an age of distraction, and at a time when distract, it's almost like we dictate distraction, I lovingly ask of you to consider what, when you're going to use this thing, to be mindful of when you're going to use this thing, to be deliberate about when you're going to use this thing, and most importantly, when you're not. My challenge to you is this. Turn your phone on silent. Put it in do not disturb mode. Set aside time every day where it's not around. Remove it from all tables. And for the love of God, if you are sitting down and have the opportunity and the gift of having a conversation with one of the most important people in your life, a loved one, a friend, a family member, and you can tell they need your undivided attention, and they deserve it, by the way, get the phone out of the picture and get into the moment between the two of you. Those moments are moments meant to be treasure, treasured. Talking about the spot on the blue jeans or whatever else the person needs to call out, it can wait. That's why we got a voicemail. It's a distraction and tune into what's most important to you. I hope this helps. We'll see you soon. If you have a question 
or a request for a future video you'd like me to do, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear all about it. And be sure to sign up to the newsletter. There's a link on here somewhere. And that way you can get all the exclusive content as well as stay up to date on any live trainings I'll be hosting, both online or in person, as well as opportunities for you and I to work together. We'll see you soon.